pray for patience this morning but the prayer for purpose in life stood out to me so i thought i would share it with y'all help me oh lord help me to develop the abundance of joy in a stream of happiness a river of internal peace in the ocean of goodness a ray of affection in the array of kindness a wall of self-control and a bridge of righteousness that will establish your purpose of creating me. May I be a reflection of what you have expected of me. May I follow the footsteps of Jesus the Christ. May the seed of love grow in me into a fruitful tree. Amen. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea if you're new and welcome back to another vlog. Today is Wednesday. I am just up being productive. It feels so good y'all. Like I'm just in such a great mood. My mood lately has been so good because one, we have been having the prettiest days in Atlanta. Like I'm talking about sun out, 60 degrees. It's just amazing 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 it feels like spring is on its way and i am so happy i truly am so so happy about it right now it is a 9 45 i am going to go downstairs and make me a croissant and have some coffee but i didn't want to just do everything in a montage because i feel like this is going to be like a daily vlog so i wanted to chit chat a little bit and just let y'all know Today is a wonderful day. Today is going to be a wonderful day. And I declared that last night. Before I went to sleep last night, I was like, when I wake up this morning, it's going to be a wonderful day. And so far, so good. You guys seeing me read um, a prayer out this book this morning, I definitely recommend this book. It's it's really good. It has so many different prayers in it. But I just wanted to let y'all know what I'm up to, what I'm getting ready to do. And check out Sleepyhead over there. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be there all day. But yeah, welcome or welcome back. If you are new, please consider subscribing and I'll see y'all downstairs. Bye.
All right, y'all, vitamin time. I've been doing great with staying consistent with my vitamins. Pat on the back. Iron D3, B12. These Ollie Focus gummies, I feel like they actually work. I mean, matcha, this is like energy B12 as well. I need to find me like a collagen pill because I am not good with taking collagen powder because collagen is hard to blend. Like, let me know if y'all take collagen and if y'all do take collagen how do y'all take collagen because babes <laughs> Prebiotic. Well, it was a prebiotic, a probiotic, and a postbiotic by Rituals. It's called a symbiotic, I believe. I think so. But I ran out of it. So I need to reach out to them and see if they'll send me some more if they want to work with me again. If not, I'll just purchase them because I actually do like the vitamins. <sighs> These are so stale. That's one thing I hate about gummies. They, they get stale so quick. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my God, I can't do it. They're too hard. I was about to break my damn teeth. two different types of croissants. These are the first ones. I purchased these from Whole Foods. They're like the larger size. I don't even know if y'all can see them, but these are like the average size of a croissant. These croissants, they came from Trader Joe's with the box bus, so I had to put them in a the Ziploc bag. They're like mini croissants, so I usually eat like two of these. I haven't tried the ones from Whole Foods yet, but these croissants, y'all, are so good i put like a little bit of honey on top bomb so next time i go to trader joe's i'm gonna make sure i get some because this is something i want to keep in my house like they're so good but today i'm going to try the ones from whole foods these were you get four for 6.49 and i'm pretty sure these were like super cheap and it's four it's five left so this probably came in like a pack of eight we're gonna try these today and we're gonna make our coffee. I'm so excited, like I'm just so excited. I love a good slow morning. Nothing going on, um, the sun is out. Y'all, I got this new like mini treadmill. I had Dion take it to the rooftop last night because I knew it was gonna be a beautiful day today so I want to go try it out on the rooftop. I'm just so excited for that rooftop, y'all. I'm gonna be up there all of the time. Like, when I tell you all the time, all the time. Mm. I'm so excited. Oh my God, y'all, they're all stuck together. Just do these two. I have decided to start this journey today with Risa Tisa because I feel so left out. Everybody's talking about it. And I've watched certain parts because they popped up on my For You page, but I need the whole story. So, where do we start? All right, part one. Please excuse the hair, but here is part one of Who the Fuck Did I Marry? Uh, 
update y'all. Chanel's still here. <laughs> <laughs> it has been a week. Yeah, yeah a week. <laughs> mm -hmm. She doesn't want to go home. You're not the fake laugh. <laughs> oh, because them people don't care. They, they, they love to know that I'm helping you be out and about in life. Girl. Yeah. She does drive me anywhere I want to go, and I really can fuck with that. <laughs> Made coffee, this cute little mug, super cute. Figure out how to get my hot coffee to stay hot. Maybe I should put my creamer in and then let the coffee go on top. Is it not a way for you to cut up the, uh, the temperature on the coffee machine it's it's hot but once i put that cold creamer in from the refrigerator that don't make sense to me because i feel like when starbucks give you a drink and they put cold cream it's still hot they must be doing something else i don't know i've never really drunk hot coffee but sometimes i want it but i never and the croissant is really good with a little bit of honey on top bomb i love a good croissant but they're so messy mm -hmm. i'm about to take my pajamas off y'all finally I was going to take y'all to the rooftop and y'all remember I was telling y'all about the treadmill. We was going to walk up there. I think I'm going to go to the park because it's such a nice day outside. So I think I'm going to go to the park. I need the glass I'm going to put on. Hmm. Today's sunscreen. This is the glow stick from Super Goop. When I tell y'all, I feel so good. I've walked around three times. I wanted to do it at least probably like two more times, but I decided just to sit down and chill out because my throat was getting dry. I did bring something to drink. Drinking my drink, relaxing in the sun. I just feel good. There's a few people out here walking, so I'm not out here alone and it's the middle of the day. A lot of people bring their dogs. I contemplated on whether or not I should bring Sebastian, but I was like, let me just scope it out, see how it is. I've been to this park plenty of times. Um, Dion and I, we have picnics here, very familiar with the park. But I'm just so happy I'm facing this way because this is where the sun is at, so. I'm just so happy, the sun feels so good. I just feel so alive. This is something I've been wanting to do, just like, start walking you know what i mean like just start getting active in some type of way so i'm so happy to be doing this i still want to open up the treadmill and show y'all for days i don't feel like leaving the house or maybe it's raining or whatever the case may be you know what i mean but i'm happy i did this Sebastian, are you ready for your bath? Good morning, y'all. Happy Thursday. It seems to be nearly impossible for me to complete a daily vlog in one day. Like, oh, I woke up and got out of the bed super late today because my cousin had company last night and I was just, I could not go to sleep knowing it was somebody else in my house. I don't know what that was about, but... It's 11.13, I'm up, I'm about to go walk Sebastian, and I have a meeting at 12 about a possible, um, 
like situation. I'm kind of excited about the meeting. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm ready to hear what they have to say, but I just I don't know. I don't know because I never. I'm real big at like what I bring to you all, the things I bring to you all. So we'll see. But Chanel just left probably about 20 minutes ago, and I'm here in my office, y'all. I haven't been in my office in so freaking long because it's just been where people sleep at like this room is just like the guest bedroom this is where my guests stay and i've been having guests so i haven't really been in here so i'm just so excited to be in here like i'm just so excited i'm about to take sebastian out and then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna clean it up a little bit and yeah i'm excited to be in here we also need to go to target today and grab a few things but first we're going to take the sweet boy out Wanna go outside? I can't even see you. You need a cut. He just got a bath yesterday, y'all. I would. Would it? I wish. Am I? I wish I would have shown myself vacuuming this floor. I emptied the vacuum cleaner before uh, vacuuming the floor. Why was it busting? Bursting at the seams? It was. This number calls me every day. Anyways, it was bursting at the seams, y'all. Filled with stuff from off this carpet. That is so crazy. Whatever. I, and, and the carpet looked bad. It looked like it needed to be vacuumed. But I would have never guessed it was that bad. It's 11.50. The meeting starts at 12. So, yeah. After the meeting, we'll probably go to Target. Get things we need. Um, I need to figure out what I'm going to do for dinner tonight. Y'all, why did I not remember that I had to download the freaking app. Oh my god. Hello. How are things? Good, good, good. Sorry I'm a little late. Are you one minute late, please? <laughs> Today I had somebody who was like, I'll be on in 15 minutes. I was like, I won't. <laughs> you based in Atlanta, right? Yes. Two miles, 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? I can run that way faster than, than two miles and 20 minutes. Yeah. Uh, well, cool. I'm, I'm excited to talk to you. I know that um, you were corresponding uh, with my team. What, what were your initial thoughts? Have you heard about doing a group travel experience like this or thought about it before with your audience? I've never thought about it, but I've seen it from peers. I just, I think I was a little hesitant because I'm very particular about everybody's experience. So I would want to make sure that I can guarantee everybody has a great experience with not only me but with the traveling. Make sure you have a good time and they have a good time. So let's, we're aligned there. Our top priorities are the same. Mm -hmm. so I'm back. The meeting definitely made me feel more confident about just coming to you all with the information. Basically, it is um, a brand reached out for for me to basically like host a trip so we can travel together. Um, I was nervous about it at first because. I was just like, yeah, no, I'm not willing to um, plan a whole trip and host so many people, especially like people I don't know. It just made me, it just seemed like too much, but I'm glad I hopped on the call because the way he explained it and broke everything down for me made me feel a thousand percent confident that I would be able to do this because they have so many people helping you along the way and it made me feel like because I was he was asking me like what is my biggest concern and I was telling him like my biggest concern is that every individual that comes on this trip and spend their money have a great time and I want that that's like my biggest thing like with anything I do anything I put my name on anything even with my event I recently had like I care so much about every single last person's personal experience to where like I can't just like no like I'm not willing to do it. I don't care what it could bring me, what I could get out of this, all the opportunities. If every single body the personal experience isn't up to par, I'm not with it. Point blank period. But he was just reassuring me that like basically it's, everything's all right and I've been seeing people like host these um like travel groups and I've had several of y'all ask me about like hosting like a travel group or something and like I said I just never I never 
played into it because it just seemed like way too much for me. I'm very easily overwhelmed, but I'm excited about it. I'm so glad I took that call. He had been actively emailing me for months at this point, and I just kind of ignored it because I just didn't see myself doing that. But it's 2024. We're doing things. We're stepping out of the box. We're doing things that we thought we would never do. You know what I mean? So I'm excited. Um, This isn't like y'all are getting this in real time. But basically, I think he said he sent me a survey. So if you're interested, all you have to do is like fill out the survey. Let me look and see while I'm on the phone. I mean, I don't know why I'm on the phone. While I'm talking to y'all right now. Okay, so yeah, there's a survey link. And let me click on it and just see how it works. Let's travel together, survey. Okay, so you fill out your name. I'm not able to do it unless I'm going to fill it out. But basically, it's a survey. You just fill it out. I don't know what all they're going to ask, but you just fill it out to see, like, and, and from y'all filling out the survey, it'll pull, like, data to where we should travel to and what we should do and just all these things. So I'm very excited. Um, the trip, if, if everything goes well and the trip is planned, it'll probably be, like, in October. September, October ish. So I'm excited. Y'all know, y'all know me. I'm a, I'm a really fun girl. So the itinerary would be fun, not adventurous, not too adventurous. So if you, but I do feel like you can, like you don't have to 1,000% participate in everything that's on the itinerary. I'm pretty sure you can branch off and do your own thing if that's what you choose to do for a day or two, whatever the case may be. But I'm just. I'm excited about it. I'm, I'm really, really excited about it. One thing I really need when I go to Target is more hand soap. This is the Byredo Suede. <sighs> it's completely empty and I'm just not in a mood to spend $70 on a hand soap right now. So I'm going to buy some soap to just put in here. Y'all, I ended up stopping at H&M and I love this dress. Like I love the straps on the shoulders. I just thought it was so cute. I'll probably wear it on Easter. This skirt, I wanted to love it so much, but it, it did nothing for me. It looked a mess, especially since I couldn't fit that part. I thought that would be really cute together, but it just didn't work. They also had this blazer. <laughs> this was so ugly, like, on me. Maybe it'll look cute on somebody else. And I also tried on that little lemon shirt. Didn't like it. I love this dress. I... Somebody commented and said you dress like a grandma, and I can agree, but that's just where I'm at in life, and I love it. So yeah, I got that dress, and this champagne skirt is something I've been wanting for so long. They finally had it in my size, so I picked it up. That was the stuff I was getting. I also had this Paris shirt. I didn't even try it on. All that stuff over there, I'm not getting. This is one of the one little times where I wish I had a little baby. Look at the little fans, the avocado fan. The baskets, the water stuff. It's all the Easter stuff for me, though. Look at this. I love, I love, I love, I love. A little Easter baskets so you can make Easter baskets. I love these right here, y'all. These ones? Oh my God, this is so freaking cute. Cute little egg container. This little tray is so cute. This is cute. It's giving Coke Gaia. And I think it's only, what, $30? My feet are too fat for these, but these look so expensive, y'all. These, oops, and the cream ones. Like, y'all need to get these. How much are they? $25? Y'all need to get those. I love this bowl. I think it's so cute, but I would want to get, like, the little set. They have blue. Like, the blue plate. But this bowl, I love this. So I have this one and I have this one. I want to get this one and the glow getter. I feel like the Aveeno oil would have been somewhere over here. So they don't have any. Yeah, I know I need more prebiotic and probiotics. I think I'm going to try the Lemmy. This is prebiotic and probiotic. I think I'm gonna try these. 
Originally, I was going to get this hand soap because I love the way this smells, but I just found this. Y'all, this smells so good. This is so cute, like little spring cupcakes. I love. Y'all, I'm about to get Dion this puzzle. Oh, well, it's not a puzzle, it's a Lego set because he enjoyed putting together his first one and this one is more intricate. So I think he would really like it. So I'm trying to find one that the box not beat up on. Look at this one, this Corvette. Those are expensive, that's $150. They got over 1,200 pieces. I'm gonna get him this one, he's gonna be so excited. All right, we're gonna do a quick haul. I picked up this Verse Press Restart Gentle Retinol Body Lotion. Go get her multi oil body wash. I told y'all about this in the store. This smells too good. Smoother Glyconic Acid Body Wash. The Let Me Deblow. This random little bunny candle. Paper plates. All uh, purpose cleaner. I've never used this brand, but I believe this is a clean brand. So. Just wanted to try this out. Some foil sheets, some little spring flowers for cupcakes. Egg tray, I thought this was so cute. This tray, I'm gonna use this for like dipping and then like chips around it. I only purchased one pink bow. I love the ombre. This planter for my new plant. I haven't named her yet, y'all. This planter, got this for DI. Like I was saying, I haven't named her yet. I don't know what I'm gonna name her. So, I'll be repotting her soon, and I think she's going to love it in here. I think this is um, some space, and of course, if she grows out of this, I'll get another planter, but I really like that planter. I think it's cute, and she'll be sitting up higher, too, once she's repotted. And look, look what we got here. So cute. I love her. She's so cute. Give it a little shake, and there we go. Perfect. I'm so excited to give this to Dion because I know he's going to be so excited. And I'd be cracking up. Last time I did something for Dion, I think I cleaned his closet. Y'all was like, "Now, Chelsea, why are you acting like that? Like you're a weirdo." <laughs> and I agree. I don't know why I was acting like that. I'd be getting shy. I went in here to put the body wash up there. So I'm so excited to use all of them. Um, and this is also really good too, y'all. It's real good. So yeah, those are the body washes. And this one I've had for a while. So some type of way the top broke, but it is cool. It is what it is. Disregard how I look. Maybe I should take the bonnet off. Dion's here, I'm so excited. He's coming up, I think. But I'm just gonna put this with my travel stuff because that's like the only time I use this. I can put this sunscreen back in here. Don't peek. Y'all missed the surprise because the battery went dead. And now this battery going dead. This is going to be fun. I feel so good y'all. Took me a shower, used my new products, did body care, I did skincare. I will keep y'all updated on this. As y'all could see, it took a lot to rub in, but this isn't supposed to, I didn't, I wasn't looking for this to give me like this glow. This is like a product that actually is going to help your skin. We'll see, um, I'm gonna keep using it. I'm gonna keep using it to just see what it's gonna do, but I don't know if I told y'all, but today is National Margarita Day, so I kinda wanna make a little margarita. Hi guys, like I told y'all, it's margarita time. I forgot I had this, I don't even know if this still good. Oh, no. It don't look like good. It. This was like a Casamigos cocktail mix. 
Yeah. But here's here. the thing, I don't have no type of, do we have any strawberry or raspberry syrup? I'm like, what type of margarita am I gonna make? We're gonna use this tequila that we got from Mexico. You can only get it in Mexico and it's really good. It's good for cocktails, it's good for shots. It's just good. This is what it looks like. Look under there where the um, stuff is at. All right, I ended up putting like a little bit of grenadine to the bottom. I'm just gonna pour on the sun. It's cute. And we got some dehydrated limes. Just sit that on the top. Vibey. When I tell y'all that drink is so nasty, it tastes like cough medicine. Ew, I'm not drinking that. I don't, I don't care about no national market every day. Um, I just placed a Chick-fil-A order. I'm getting chicken nuggets. And I, want, I don't know what's going on with me, but I'm getting a cup of the chicken tortilla soup. It sounds so good. Like, I want to try that. So we're going to try that together. I'm about to clean up this mess and wait for the food. Good morning and happy Friday. I'm ending this vlog right now. I realized that I did not show y'all the treadmill. I'll show y'all in the next vlog. Um, and I also didn't show y'all the tortilla soup, but it was okay. I'll probably rate it like a, maybe like a six out of 10. I needed some seasoning, some hot sauce, something. I feel like we're so close, but we're here with it. So it don't even matter, y'all my girls. I, Every time I say something like that, I'm like, I cannot believe I never gave y'all a name. And I just feel like we're too far gone for me to be naming y'all. So, it is what it is. It's all love. Y'all know I love y'all. Um, I'm just, I've been, I was telling y'all about the whole call I had yesterday. And basically on the call, he was telling me that sooner than later, you need to put the survey out there to see if people are even interested in traveling with you, if they are, what's their budget, how old are they, where they would want to go. And it's just like, I put it out there last night and I'm always nervous when I do stuff like that because I'm always nervous when I have to challenge, when I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to put it. I'm always nervous when I have to see how much I actually influence my audience. Meaning, how y'all show up for me. If I'm doing something, would y'all want to participate? Do y'all want to be a part? You know, things like that. It always makes me nervous because in my mind, I'm just like, I'm a content creator. I create content. I got girls that fuck with it. You know, like, it's just that. But every time so far that I've done something it's like y'all show up for me in these huge quantities of people and I'm just like man like it's it's honestly it's unbelievable for me and outsiders like my friends or my family or whoever they're like well what did you think was going to happen I'm like girl not this <laughs> like not this. I just I just want to say thank y'all. Like we're still in the beginning of planning this trip, but how the surveys are coming back, it looks like a trip is definitely going to happen. So if you really um are interested in going on this trip, you should definitely make sure you stay tuned so you don't miss any of the updates and this is a great opportunity to not only I, I never I'm never trying to sell myself to y'all like, "Oh, come meet me. Come hang out with me." No. Get an opportunity to go out the country and travel with like-minded people. Get to know people. Network. If you're uncomfortable, bring somebody with you. You know, I don't I don't know all the details yet. But I'm pretty sure, um, I got y'all so close. There we go. I'm pretty sure you can do, like, double rooms or, I'll have all the details soon, but... I'm so excited for this opportunity and I'm just like, 2024 is my year. This is the year I'm standing on business. Like, yeah, we standing on business. We doing everything we want to do. I said I was in my hosted era in 2024. I did not know that mean. Like, it's so crazy because like, when you think you going big, God be like, bigger, bigger. 
Because I'm like, oh, I'm just going to host my event I had. I'm going to host some girls. I'm going to be hosting dinner parties. God said, how about a travel group? And I'm like, me? Me? And like I said, these people have been reaching out last year too. And it's just like... I wasn't I, I wasn't really interested, but I truly believe in perfect timing. Everything happens when it needs to happen. So for that, I'm just so grateful. I'm just so excited. I just cannot wait to see what this year has, what, what else this year has to bring. Like, I love y'all. This isn't a, and, and let me say this because I know I have men that watch me. This is not just for girls however i'm pretty sure majority will be girls so if you are a man and you want to come it'll probably be like one or two of y'all if any but it's it's open to everybody i don't want to close it off to just girls because not only just girls watch me or just girls vibe with me but yeah i'm i'm excited and just a little i'm gonna give y'all a little 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 a little sneaky peeky from what I'm getting from the survey, but it looks like we're going to Bali. What? I've never been to Bali. Never been. And honestly, it was never like a place on my bucket list. But baby, it looks like we're going to Bali. Mm hmm. And like September. Bali in September. I feel like September is the perfect traveling month. I've always felt that way. I remember back when I like only took like one big trip a year. It will always be in September. But look like Bali in September. So if you're interested, keep that in mind. But I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. I love y'all. I'm so grateful for y'all. Y'all are just so cool to me. Like... I fucks with y'all for real. But yeah, I'm gonna end this vlog. Last night was another night. I stayed up kind of late. So it's 10.50 right now. And I'm about to start another vlog. So thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for supporting me. Thank y'all for rocking with me, clicking on my videos. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you a part of my family. Ever since I hit 100,000 subscribers, I really haven't had any like subscriber goals or anything. Because I'm like, I, I did what I set out to do and I'm happy. But it can always be more. So maybe we should, I don't know. I'm, honestly, honestly, if we're going to be honest, let's talk about it. I know y'all probably looking at me sideways because I still haven't did the 100k giveaway. It's so many things I've done that y'all probably thought I forgot about but I did not. I've just been so consumed with so many things. I, I still have to do a 100k giveaway. I still have to do a giveaway for when I asked y'all to guess when I was going to hit 100k. And I still remember I hit 100k on November 29th. I still remember the video. I need to go back on and look like I don't want y'all to think I forgot because I did not like I did not forget it's just that it's always some shit going on but maybe in up and coming vlogs we'll do um 100k giveaways and for the people that came to my event in January I, I said in my vision board um video that I was going to do shout outs to people's channels girl I gotta find a book, but I'm gonna go ahead and give some shout outs right now to people that I know off the top of my head that came and that I see all the time and that whose videos watch and I've, you know, I've been seeing them. So, the first shout out is gonna go to It's Court. She seems so sweet. Been watching a few of her videos just to get to know, like, I don't know, I think it's so cool to get to know the people that watch you she just seemed like the everyday girl she likes to have fun she's i i feel like i haven't went back far far enough but i feel like she recently moved because she's like talking about like still getting her home together i don't know if she's married or if that's her boyfriend but she got a man she got a daughter yeah she just seemed like the every, everyday girl. Like she just she just seems really cool, and I enjoy watching her content. So her name is It's Court. I'll have all of these in the description box, so you can just click them and go to their channel. Next person is 
Enjoy Mar. I will never forget him because I spelled his name wrong and things like that is such a big deal to me. So I'll never forget him. Enjoy Mar. His name is Omari. I really like him because I can tell that he's dedicated to his craft. I love that. I love that because when you are doing something, especially when you when when you have like a long term vision, like you're not getting paid from this, you're not really you really don't have the subscribers like that, but you're doing it because you actually enjoy it and you know in the long run it'll pay off. I see that. I recognize that his content is really, really good. He takes his time, he edits his videos thoroughly. So if you're into edits and just like really like edited videos like details he's your guy he I, I, one thing one of the first videos i seen from him he was like going to the thrift store and putting outfits together i love shit like that like love that so yeah he's really cool just the everyday guy go to target go to church go out to eat that type of thing and when i get the book i'm going to shout out everybody in the book i'm just going off people that's in my head right now Lori Diva she came to the event as well she was such a sweet lady when I was watching her video from the event I felt so bad because all of her footage was like I think it was in slow motion or something y'all know how that camera be doing but it was like in slow motion but she still made it work she pivoted and I can really I, I, I rocks with that she's she's older than me but she still feel like I feel when I watch her, I don't feel like I'm watching somebody that's older. She just does a, a bunch of like just regular content. Uh, like she did a new perfume collection. She's cooking. It's just I like her. Like she's cool. I just I just enjoy watching people. Like YouTube is my TV. So no matter what you have going on in your vlogs, girl, I'm gonna be tuned in. And we're gonna do one more shout out for today, and then. We'll do some more in the next vlog. So the last shout out is going to go to my girl Ebony Elbow. She's from where I'm from. Duval. Period. I love Ebony. Ebony is... Ebony... She kind of reminds me of myself. Like she's just... But I think it's from... I think it's because we're from the same place. Like... She just give me like real ass bitch. She give a fuck about a nigga. Nah, no, I'm just playing. But she just give me like real authentic, pure. I can tell. Like I thank God for discernment. Like you can't come with me. You cannot come to me with no bullshit because I'm gonna see through it. And when I met her, and even when I watch her content. I can tell that she's pure, she's authentic, and I fucks with that 1000%. She has kids, she absolutely loves her kids. I love a mother who is about her kids. Like, I don't care about nothing else in the world. You had them kids, be about your kids. So, I just love somebody who's about their kids, they handle their business. I be watching Ebony, she do so much shit in one day, I be like... Girl, you, I'm, I'm talking about got like 10 jobs. I'll be like, I need to get on my shit. Like, I, I, I really do because she does so much in a day. Yeah, and I, I fucks with that. So, I really like Ebony. She don't be doing nothing too, too major. But it's just the everyday content that I really, really like. Like, um, this last video she was doing real and raw YouTube advice. Um, the one after that, her, her man went on the Valentine's Day date. She was doing dry February, and um, so she wasn't really spending no money. She's either going to buy a house or move to Atlanta. So I just been on her journey with her, and I love a journey that I can follow with whoever. Like I just, I just love that. So yeah, that was the last shout out for the day. All four of those people, Ebony. I need to write them names down before I forget. Um, Ebony, Amari, Lori, and it's Court. Yeah. So, yeah, y'all. If y'all are watching, I watch y'all. Mm hmm Like I said, to everybody else that came and wrote your information down in the book, you will be getting a shout out. Um, and I will watch your channel and subscribe. I just have not gotten to it yet. But I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.